you would of course not do this. It's 100 I saw. 100. At 200 ISO, I can start to see these lights. At 200 ISO. Now, when I bought film for a 35 millimeter camera, I was buying 400 ISO, I mean ASA, which is the same thing. In fact, it, it changed to ISO. This is it, 400. One sixty eight hundred or so. Now on the other camera in dark conditions I found eight hundred ISO was approximating what I was seeing. One thing I can say was certain on this camera, what you see on the screen is not what you're gonna see when you get home. The screen is too dark. So if you use the image on the Action 4 screen as your indicator of how bright things are, fail. Sixteen hundred ISO. Thirty-two hundred, I saw. Now, to do the real ISO test, I shouldn't be moving, and I'm going to do that later. But I just want to see this because this, this is kind of contrast that you run into in urban environments: the bright lights and the dark shadows. Four hundred days, so we're obviously going to get noise. But I might actually use these cameras as a literal rearview mirror at night because they have night vision, quite literally, that I don't have. Wide open ISO. 12,800. Oh, and we're on this ultra wide. You can see everything's warped, right? Usually I don't like that, but I'm doing these weird angle things on the back of the bike. <laughs> 